Hello. This is the demo of what we are going to create. We will show a pop-up on the bottom right when the page loads. The pop-up will display a star rating and an input field to get the user's feedback. Once submitted, it will display a thank you message. And the user's feedback will be saved in a database along with his IP address and browser information. Here you are seeing the IP address is 1 because it is localhost. On the live server, it will save the actual IP address of the user. And the user will not see that pop-up again. If the user changes the browser or visits the site after a long time, then he will see that pop-up again. First, you need to download jQuery, Bootstrap, and Font Awesome. You can download them from this link. And paste the CSS and JS files in your project. Copy the Font Awesome fonts and CSS file as well. Now you need to include these files in your project. No error is displayed in the console which means that it is included correctly. Now, create a bootstrap modal for feedback. A unique ID will be used to show and hide the modal programmatically. This is the heading. This is the button to close the modal. In the body, we will create the form to get feedback. Right now, you can show the modal by calling the modal function from the console. We need to show it on the bottom right, so apply some CSS styles to it. This will give it some width for the form. This will set the position on the bottom right. And this will remove the margin from the bottom and right of the screen. Now, to create stars, we are going to use a library called star. Google star. Go to this GitHub link. And download it. Inside this library, go to the distribution folder. And copy CSS and JS files in your project CSS and JS folder separately. Now include its CSS file. And JS file, make sure to include JS file after jQuery. I am putting it even after bootstrap. No error is displayed which means it is included correctly. Now, create a form inside the modal body. On submit we will call an Ajax to save the feedback. div to show stars. An input field to enter feedback in text. and a submit button.
you can see the stars are missing, even though I have included font awesome in my project. It is because I need to initiate this library using JavaScript. Setting default value of ratings to zero. I will initiate the library when the page is fully loaded. And when the user selects any star, I am going to save its value in the rating variable. Now I need to show the modal automatically but only if the user has not given his feedback. So I will use local storage for this purpose. Check if the local storage has feedback underscore one value. If not, then I am going to show the modal. And when this modal is closed by the user, I am going to save the feedback underscore one value in local storage. So next time the user visits this page, the feedback underscore one value will be found in local storage, thus it will not show the modal pop-up. So it is displaying automatically. Now, I need to create this JavaScript function which will be called when the form is submitted. Create an Ajax object. Set its method to post, and URL to the page that will save the feedback. And asynchronous. Attaching an event that will be called whenever the state of request is changed. The ready state will be 4 when the request is completed and a response is received. The status will be 200 if the request was OK and there was no error. Simply show the response sent from the server. Then show the thank you message in the modal pop-up. And set the value in local storage. And request status will be 500 if there is an internal server error. In that case, you can view the error using the response text property. Create a form data object using that form. And append the ratings variable value in it. And then send the request and attach the form data object to it. Return false will prevent the form from submitting. So, now I need to create the server file named savefeedback.php that will handle this request. As the requests will be saved in the database, so we need to create a table in our database. I am creating a table named feedbacks. It will have six columns. The first will be auto increment ID. An IP address whose data type is text. And browser information, also text. The ratings data type double. Feedback also text. And created underscore it which will store the date and time when the feedback is sent. First, connect with the database. My database name is test. Get ratings and feedback from the request. You can get the user's IP address using PHP built-in global dollar underscore server variable, and the associative index will be remote underscore ADDR. You can get the user's browser information by calling a PHP built-in function named get underscore browser and it has a property named browser underscore name underscore pattern. Then run the insert query to save the record in the database. MySQL has a built-in function named now that will return the current date and time of the server. Echo will send the response back to the client. Now, the feedback table is empty. Refresh the page. Give ratings. Enter feedback. And submit. Thank you message is displayed. The response is received successfully. Close the modal. You will see a new row created in the database. Now, you won't be able to see this modal because you have already given your feedback. Let's try it in another browser.
So, I am seeing the pop-up the first time. Once feedback is given, the user will not see that pop-up. And it will be saved in the database.